It deals with just the whole movement of female MCs, DJs, producers, photographers, the whole nine. And it came to be, I, I, I did a show, I started doing these shows like five years ago. Just put, just like me being the only female MC around sometimes, I wanted to see more. Yeah. So I started putting the shows on and every time I would put them on, they would grow and grow. By the time I did the third one, AC along from Freestyle Fellowship and by Drew Uma from Project Glow Recording hit me up like let's get this project going. Uh -huh. I called MCs I knew, he called some MCs he knew, we got it together. Three months in we, we did the tracks, did that, started doing shows and everything. So it's just really put, putting it out there, getting the, the ladies together and showing that we can do it together and we dope and and represent hip hop, not just West Coast, but hip hop in general. Right, okay. And, uh, there's, there's core members, and then there's a, members, yeah, there's a, just, a bunch of affiliates right. that just wreck the system yeah. anyway. But as far as core members, it's uh, Devious. You got Devious One, you got Queen Candy Cole, you got Mama Brown, aka the Dope Man's Daughter, aka Brandy Kane, uh -oh. aka Brandy okay. Kane. You got Oracle Jane Doe, you got Don Guns, aka otherwise known as Miss Leg, you got Mickey Vale. Uh, you got Gigi Sweet, the hustle girl. Yeah. You got Miss Bliss. Shout out to Miss Bliss. Uh, Jesus Christ, now I'm in trouble. I'm in them trouble waters. <laughs> you got Medusa. Okay. Medusa, one of the. Uh, you know, shout out to Shiny D, J Natural, J Roz, uh, 3 a.m. Roseman of 3 a.m. Carmella, uh, you know. Like I said, the shit just don't stop. It's it don't like, stop. Okay. And, and, and when we say female woo, like literally, like when you look at the woo. Like everybody don't sound the same. Like Meth don't sound like Ghost and Ghost don't sound oh. like like you can hear Devious and I don't sound like Mountain Brown and Mountain Brown don't sound like Oracle and Oracle don't sound like Mickey. But we all dope. Yeah. Like everybody's dope in what they do. You want don't man don't man daughter give it to you. You want Mickey she give you that. It's like it's so it's so refreshing. Like, saying, like we're all solo artists. Like we all got albums out separately and all this. But like when we decided to come together, it was definitely a void in hip hop. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like there weren't any females on the scene, and um, we saw each other. And it's like, well, we out here grinding. What's up? So it's that you know, instead of just trying to go out there solo volo, we was like, let's see if the strength and numbers approach mm -hmm. works. And um, we went out there, and folks started turning heads and listening because it was just like a gang of us, you know. And we all spit, and it's like, whoa. So. With, with that, when you take all of these people with their individual grinds and you form a collective, it's not really a group, it's a collective. We all support each other, you know what I mean? And it's, that's just something you don't see in hip-hop, period. Right. Like, people support each other, male or female. Yeah. So we just decided to, you know, try a different approach at it and see what works. And it's, it's definitely been going good. We're doing pretty good right now. It's like four years in. And uh, we we about to start working on the third project. Uh, the official album, we have two mixtapes out, but the official album, so. For so long, people have pit female MCs against each other. Foxy and Kim, Remy and whoever, you know what I'm saying? So what we tried to say is like, why do I have to beef with Battle Brown? Why do I have to beef with Candy Cole? We see each other at every show. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now you're about to see all of us at every show. Even if I'm not performing, and Candy got a show, I'm there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we all there, we gonna see each other, so why not get together and just make it happen? No. In the history of the music and the business, it's always been female producers, but they never really get that shine. You know what I'm saying? Like just in music in general, right. like everybody talk about Missy and everything she do, but never nobody ever talks about her being a producer. Right. And that's always overshadowed. Yeah. So to be honest with you, I wasn't that familiar with it because you never really see it, but now I'm starting to see it. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of female a lot of female producers, but my thing is just like the MCs, come out of the closet with it. Like let everybody know what you do. Don't be the, the reason why I was able to do what I do because I wasn't scared. You know what I'm saying? Being the only female rapper in a cypher full of guys never scared me. Yeah. And if you're the only female producer in at a beat showcase, you should be out there like hard. hard. Yeah. Because you're about to take them out of their realm just because you are a female and you got beats. Yeah. And they out there, but it's just like sometimes they feel like, okay, well I can't do it because it's a male dom. Man, forget that. Do you. do you and plus your skills are always gonna shine regardless i can see real mc stepping back up you know and um the independent grind is really um helping hip-hop get back to where it's supposed to be because the the, the corporate machines were running hip-hop for the last 10 or so years and that's why you got 
Oh, oh, this shiny everyone. suit wearing, skinny jean gimmick having, you know what I mean? Bullshit MCs on the mic winning awards and it's yeah. like, what the hell just happened? Right. So I can see that with all these independent labels and artists popping up and really grinding, you know, learning other other artists' horror stories and not kind of continuing that cycle, I can see it get back to where it's supposed to be. People on the streets, you know, selling mixtapes out of their trunk and doing more shows, getting exposure. And internet is killing it too, you know, we can send tracks to Chuck Dizzle on, on the internet yeah, yeah. and he can play it to his folks in your city, you right, know what I mean? Like, right. just, I, I can see it coming back to, from the heart, because before it was it was on some other shit. I mean, we all want to make money, but you got to come back to some real at the end of the day. So I want to leave this planet, you know, on my solo grind as well with the system, making songs like this where you hear, you got to stop in your tracks. Yeah. Like, I feel this, like, I need people to put more substance and we need to work hard about putting out real shit because it's these kids, like you was just saying, it's kids that's listening to this. Yeah. And they growing up to this. Yeah. And they're what we're gonna be looking at tomorrow running the country. Yeah. So if you putting bullshit in the air now, the country ain't gonna be shit in 10 years, 20 years. So um, it's our responsibility to take control of what we do put out there. Not kind of monitor a sense of your music, but just take control of where you would like this to go. So. In, in other words, think about that question you just said a little bit longer before making a song just because it sounds good. You know what I'm saying? To help somebody. That one female rapper that was scared to do it and she looked and like, dang, if she can do it, I can do it. Or that one producer that was like, you know what, I went to a show and Devious said something. I, I like to pave the way and open the doors for a lot of people. And hopefully my message and the system's message and my music and Candy Cole's music and our music together can open up the doors and avenues for different female MC so they can see like dang I remember in 2010 I was listening to homegrown radio and I wasn't supposed to be up because I had to go to school but I heard this rapper and I just could not let it go lift you off your feet hands in the air reach system in the building is confidence not conceived from the stage to the street never skipping a beat lace beats A to Z faithfully we stay with the heat got the fiends online anticipating the lead we all queens gonna shine it's what they waiting to see murder them murder them Madagui, I'm on